Hello everyone, I'm John Martinez here with another quick Blender tutorial. If you've ever browsed for your Blender projects within your system's file explorer, you may have noticed these Blend1 files that appear to duplicate all your project files. They don't show up within the file explorer inside Blender, so what are they and why does Blender create them? The Blend1 file type is a backup file created by Blender that keeps your previous save of the project you're working on. If we take a look at this project I have here, which is just a simple plasma type material applied to a plane in a cube, you can see that I haven't saved it. So let's go ahead and save this and call it backup test. If we go to the Windows File Explorer, you'll see that there is the Blender file, but there is no Blend1 file that goes with it. This is because there is no previous save to draw from to create this file. Now let's make a simple change in the Blender project, such as changing the plane to this metal material, and save it again one more time. If we go back to the File Explorer, you'll see that Blender has created a Blend1 file with the same name and just the Blend1 file extension attached to it. If we try to open this file by double-clicking it, you'll see that it doesn't open automatically. So let's go back to Blender and try to open it from here. If we go to File, Open, you'll see that the Blend1 files don't appear here. So let's go to our filter settings up here in the upper right and check the backup blend files. If we do that, now you can see all of the blend files appear in here. So let's go ahead and open up our blend one file for the backup test. If we go to the render view, you can see that the plane is back on the plasma shader because this backup file is just a copy of the previous save file where it was plasma. If I were to make another change to the original file and save again, the version with the metallic shader would overwrite this version and become the new backup. So why do you need these backup files? Well, if you like to push your hardware to its limits and accidentally create a situation where you can't open a project file because it crashes on load up, you might be able to access a previous version before you made the change that destroyed the project. Or if you decide you don't like a change you made a while ago, but it's no longer in the undo history, you could go back to a previous save that was possibly before the change. And of course, if the original file gets corrupted for some reason, like a power loss, you might be able to get it back from the backup file. The downside to the backup files is that they are duplicates of your original project file. As you can see here in the file explorer, each Blend1 file is pretty much exactly the same size as the regular file. Blender files are generally small enough that it doesn't matter in the order of just hundreds to thousands of kilobytes, but with hundreds of projects over time, it can start to add up. You can delete them without affecting your main project, so you might want to do that for old projects that you're not so concerned about having backed up. You can change the number of backups that are kept, so if you want to keep your previous five saves for extra safety or the ability to time travel to previous versions, you can go to Edit, Preferences, and then Save and Load and then you can change the number of save versions that are kept up here. Finally, an extra little tip for Windows users. If you want to be able to open Blend1 files from File Explorer, double click on one, then select it from this list or click More Apps if you don't see it. If you still don't see it from this list, click Look for another app on this PC and then find the Blender application within your computer system. If you have the Always Use This App to Open Blend1 Files option selected, it will now automatically use Blender to open these files every time. I hope you found this video informative and useful. I'm John Martinez, and this has been Learn Together Filmmaking.